Hello, Teresa. Here we are at 340 Welcome Drive. Actually, three agents here right now. Um, but I'm going to try to make a, a very good video still, but try to be somewhat quick with it. Nice stucco. As we enter in. living room right away have a little oh wow pantry off to the right hopefully there's another pantry and they just have a lot of food uh, to the left we have a half bath see the beautiful ceilings I have the office to the right. Here we enter into the master. Large master closet. I should definitely open those blinds up, but I will give you a little sneak peek, but no point in making it nicer for the rest of the agents to see. But And the pontoon boat is not included in the sale, but it's negotiable. So could get it all wrapped up in one. And also has a door going straight out to the porch. Another little closet to the left. And here we go into the master bed. Overall, the house is a little cluttered, but at the end of the day, that's not how it's going to be sold. Soft clothes. I like the shower a lot. Looks nice. A little linen closet. Tile flooring. And the toilet. These little doors that kind of block it off from the rest of the house. A little interesting. As you can see, this is what it's all about. Back porch. Here we enter into the kitchen. Stainless steel appliances. Yep, looks like they did take the wash or the dishwasher out to put the must be some wine drinkers. Flat top. I really like this backsplash stone. Double sink. little breakfast area a little bit of molding around the where the light connects to the ceiling and then a formal dining room looks like they have lighting above the trim as well and also uh, the views I'll take you and show you the other bedrooms. Pretty, pretty cool molding right here as you enter. That's another pantry. So let's let's get to the bottom of that. Let's, it's a really no pantry drawback, I'd say. Enter to the left. I would imagine, yep, the laundry room. Garage is right there. 
has the second bedroom. Just a pretty normal size closet. And here we enter into a second bathroom. That looks to be a fiberglass or plastic tub. Like I mentioned earlier, a little cluttered. And it has a pocket door. So people can just use the, can call it a powder room here in the south. And the third bedroom. Oh, I know this old TV's that small. This closet appears to be a little bigger than the other one. Take you upstairs real quick. Just a little room, a little bonus room, a little bit of natural light. Take you into the garage and I'll take you into the back. That's nice painted floors. Two car garage. And I believe this home's only like three years old. They, they really collected some stuff in a short amount of time. I believe that's everything inside. Take you into the back. A little screened in porch area, leads off to from the master. little pergola that they decided to put a roof on Nice thing, they already have uh, Tennessee Creek Rock in the beds, which is nice. One AC system. As you can see, the road's right across. And on tax records, it actually shows that you own just about those trees right there. So you actually own on the other side, it shows. I don't know what that means if you can do anything. I don't I wouldn't imagine so, but still interesting. And the other side yard. So I hope this video helps. Uh I'm gonna let the other agent go ahead and get in here and kind of check it out. This one's actually built on a crawl space. Um they say it's a completely encapsulated and they have uh, French drains that lead out to the, the pond. And they also have French drains throughout the side yards to help drain the water off. All right, thanks. Have a great day.